So this next video is going to be a briefing on how to use a draw function on here. Uh, I'll just start, start with this here, point, two points and a line. All this is is drawing uh, a line between two points. So if I have a point in my drawing, let's say I'm using CP1 here, and I want to draw a line to uh, this one down here, which is CP4. I can tap that and I can zoom out. If I save that, it's going to draw a line there. Uh, so a lot of people ask me uh, when I'm working on the job, they say, listen, so like, why would I ever need to do this? Well, one example is let's say that you have a grid line like this. And this is just one example, but there's a lot of ways you can use it. But let's say I have this line here, this grid line right here, CP1 and CP3 representing one grid line. And let's say that for whatever reason, the surveyor gave you an offset of that grid line, let's say for two feet, for instance. So let's say they draw that in, you go over here and you do an offset of two feet, All right, if you see down here, offset of two feet. So what I'll do is I'll close this window and I'll say this point off two feet, this point off two feet, check. Now I got those two points to represent that the ends of that line, but it's still not connected yet. So I go in here and just quickly connect it. And now I basically have a pretend grid line that's also, that's on my drawing that wasn't there before. Uh, one other cool thing is let's say you have a point, let me put a point here real quick. Let's say I have a point at this intersection and for whatever reason you have a line that you need to lay out let me draw a line you have a line between this point and this point that you need to lay out so that's diagonally across well how do you lay out that line if it wasn't there before well now you have a line that you can tap if you go to the application here in the window I can go to line layout and now I have a line I can use in line layout and it's going to tell me how far on or off that line is and I can move the you know and now I have a line that I can guide that and guide the tool on that wasn't there before. Technically in line layout you can use points as well but sometimes it's nice to just be able to tap a line. So that's a few ways you can use that but basically that's that function. You gotta put a line between two points.